So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today we'll talk about feature and feature collection, visualization in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So today we'll talk about how to map a feature collection in Google Earth Engine. So and also change the different coloring and size parameter in different feature collections. So now uh, let's start with uh, start by importing a feature collection into Google Earth Engine. So to import a feature collection into uh, Earth Engine, you have to define a variable called countries equals to double dot feature collection and United States or Department of State and referring to, uh, let me show you that. So this, uh, it is a large scale international boundary polygon. So it is so the data set provider. It is United States Department of State and Office of uh, Geography. So here, suppose if you want to access the world uh, feature uh, that is if you want to access this particular boundary or this particular country boundary Australia India you need to use this uh, particular code that is doubly dot feature collection United States of Department of State and uh, large scale international boundary the large scale international boundary polygon so you've defined 2000 uh, so this script is used to access that uh, feature collections let me go back to the earth engine so we have defined so access the uh, feature collection of uh, any uh, any country or entire world we using the defined a variable called countries the equals to double e dot feature collection united states of department of state large scale international boundary polygon simple so it's referring to this data set of 2017 so now to uh, next is to display as a default and with a custom color. Suppose if you want to display your feature, uh, the map features as a default or with the custom colors. So let me explain you that. So to, to define in the card default color, we uh, usually use map dot add layer countries that refers to this variable of that feature collections. And uh, this parenthesis is usually defines uh, usually defined as a uh, which takes the default visualization parameter. That is, it usually takes in, uh, that is the gray tone as its default color. So to display the entire the feature collection, uh, this particular parenthesis show, which uh, act, uh, which shows uh, a default visualize, gives a default visualization parameter. So now let me uh, run this. So now uh, let me run this. Go to the option called Run Script. So now we can able to see that entire world uh, global level, the feature collection has been uh, marked in the default color that is in the gray and black color. So now we can able to visualize that. So suppose if you want your suppose if you want your layer to be uh, visualized in your uh, favorite color or your uh, chosen colors, you can use this option. So you can use this another option called we can able to define a particular color. That is this particular color refers to a red color. Uh, now let me show you that. So this is a color brewer. So where you can uh, able to choose a desired color. So here, this particular color indicates. Let me show you another color. So, so there is a green color that has a value of 21A355354. It reflects this particular green color. And suppose, uh, let me show you a black color. So here, so it is actually gray. So gray color, which indicates a 636363. So suppose if you want to show your uh, feature collection in red color. So you can able to see that this road networks here, which is marked here. It is a red color. So which is indicated with the codes of uh, FA44, sorry, FA and 0000. So this is a particular uh, 
code that is used to display a red color. So here that is uh, identified, that is uh, shown here using the road network, which is in the red color. That is F, FA0000. So here we define, uh, here we define double F0000. So now suppose if we want to change the color of this uh, default value to a uh, desired color of your choice, you can go to the color brewer and uh, you can choose your desired color of, and you can copy this code and uh, bring it here and paste uh, paste it here. So now later I will run this uh, layer, this particular layer. So let us see what is the option called run script, run this. So now you can able to just you can able to see the change. So we have defined a color called uh, red. So there are two different layer. One is of colored fill, and other one is of default. Now let me turn off the colored fill. So the default has a gray and black color, and the colored one we have a red color. So now we have seen uh, how to change the color of our features, but you can also see that the width of this boundary is pretty bigger. So, and also uh, the fill color, it is kind of uh, blur causing a blurry effect, which uh, blurry effect with, uh, that is to distinguish this particular countries. So suppose talking about India, so the visible uh, visibility of this fill color is kind of low. So in that case, suppose if you want to only to reduce this uh, the boundary that is width of this boundary and also the remove the fill color or reduce the fill color, we can uh, use uh, other methods. I will show you now. So to do that, we uh, suppose we need to create an image into uh, which the paint the features. So we have to do it by using, we have to first empty the image for that. We defined a variable called empty equals to double e dot image dot byte. So this particular function we are using. So in order to uh, remove the fill color and mark the only uh, mark the boundary of this uh, feature collection. So to do that, we defined a variable called empty equals to double e dot image dot byte, which uh, empties the image. So where uh, variable empty to equals to double e dot image dot byte will gives us uh, an empty image. So to color, uh, so to color this particular image boundary, that is from the empty image, we are only uh, coloring the boundaries. For that, we're defining a variable called uh, variable outline equals to empty dot paint. So this particular function uh, makes that only colors the boundary of this uh, feature collection and uh, the fill color will be will not there will be a uh, no fill color only there will be a, a boundary color that is defined using uh, color is equal to one and defining the size of this boundary equals to one that is one we defined as one so we have uh, defined a variable called outline equals to empty dot paint so this particular function defines that as the boundary uh, it marks the only the boundary and leaves the fill color as an empty so it only uh, change the color only makes the color uh, that is marks the boundary color so for that we defined a feature collection that is countries that is referred to our variable that access our feature collection the variable countries accessing our feature collections so we define that uh, feature collection equals to country and color we defined as one and width is one. So suppose you can also increase the thickness of width by increasing this number. So in this case, I will use only uh, the width as one. You can also increase the number to increase the thickness of this boundary. 
So at last we had defined uh, to add this layer, so map.add layer outline. So outline refers to this variable. So we are using uh, that is uh, with the width of one and the color as one. So here in this particular variable that is we have uh, we will receive only the boundary colors without the fill colors. So the palette is uh, we define the color palette that is double F and four zero 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 zero. So that is in red color and that is a colored outline. So now let us run this script and uh, let us see the result. So go to this option called run, run the script. So we have uh, three different layers that has been uh, added to uh, added. So now let me check out this each of this layer. Let me turn this off. So in the first part, we defined uh, the layer. That is, we defined a layer with the default color. So the default color. Let us see the default color. So this is the default color with the uh, Boundary is a black and fill color is also with the gray and black color. And next is we defined a layer that is the color of red color. That is, that is with the color palette code of double F 0000. So let us see that. Uh, let me turn this on, turn this off. So, so this particular layer we defined with the red color as the boundary as well as the fill color. So you can able to see that. So the boundary is in red color and the fill color is also in red. So and also the inner uh, the wording is not uh, clearly visible, causing a blurry effect. So in order to reduce that, we are next we are applying to find a variable. So in that you can able to visualize now clearly. We have uh, removed the boundary color and only the uh, that is we are removed the fill color. And uh, only the boundary color we have applied for it. Let me check out for check out for entire world. So now we can able to clearly visualize that we have uh, removed the fill color and only that we have applied the boundary color. So the color palette we use is double F 0, 0, 0, 0, with a width of one. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, import a feature collection into uh, Google Earth Engine and how to add a uh, how to add a, uh, a feature collection, how to add a feature collection with a default color, and how to add a feature collection with uh, our chosen color that is a red color. And also, suppose if you want to remove the fill color and only apply the boundary colors, we are using this particular function variable outline is equal to empty dot paint. So we have three different layers. One is default, one is a color that is full color, another it is a only the applying boundary color. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.